Let's now we'll go to uh, the derby that I know Antonio is very excited for. By the way, we will be live for this, and yeah. I know there is a very, very, very special surprise yeah, that we yeah. will not reveal. Hopefully, I don't slip up and say it again, like like I ruined uh, with Ryan because uh, he's very mad at me for for doing that. Uh, but I saw pictures and it looks really, really cool. Shout out to Peter, and even Antonio might be involved. But anyway, Anto, I'll leave I'll leave the the microphone to you right now. You are playing Inter in the Derby to fight back for first place. Are you? Stop reading the comments. <laughs> are you? Are you? Uh, Ooh, how are you feeling? One. Are you feeling confident? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, sure. Of course. Listen, I'm always feeling confident when uh, uh, confident when we play Inter. So uh, because for us, uh, the pressure is not on us. The pressure is on them. We don't have to win anything. So Inter has to win everything. So I have a special surprise coming up. So uh, besides your surprise, so it's a win or lose. Uh, we will, uh, you know. A tie would be very disappointing. At that point, I'd rather to lose. But uh, I, I'd rather it's either a win, a, a win or a loss is going to be what I, I'm looking forward to. But a tie doesn't doesn't do justice to anybody. I will. I will. I think we have a good chance to win the game. I don't know. I just have a, a strange feeling, and uh, we'll see. But maybe Peter is going to find another twenty excuses. Going to pull them out from his, uh, you know, a magic hat to to see what Conte didn't do or he did or. He should have done, or he could have done better, or uh, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You know, Peter, uh, Peter BS. So uh, you know, Antonio. Oh, somebody said Antonio Scammer is damned. What? Oh my God, I love it, those guys. Good quality. They're saying it's uh -huh. a very good quality. Why do you think we helped you set it up? Okay, so uh, what I was again to finish up uh, again, Pete. The pressure is on you. I know you're preparing a very good surprise, but be careful with that surprise. It might backfire on you, okay? So, <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> Peter, Peter, your thoughts on the, on the game? You're obviously you're going into the game first place. Uh, I do agree with uh, with Antonio in a sense that there is more pressure on you, but I think that this is also a defining moment for a lot of the Milan fans and for the, the Scudetto reign. I think that if you would lose this game, I think that it will put a big glimmer on the hopes and, and a lot more favor on Inter. Sure. I mean, you could say there's more pressure on Inter, but I think in the end, it's it's the derby, uh, the La Madonina. It's it's this is a game that the inter the inter players, the Milan players know uh, the importance of it. So once maybe the first 10, 15 minutes go by and the nerves kind of settle down, this is a game where I hope it's going to be an amazing game too. And it's the first time in a long time that Inter and Milan are fighting for the first place. Um, the teams are very good, even though Milan recently have had a little bit of a uh, a slump, but they're fine. These games doesn't matter if you lost ten games in a row. This game is always something special, and we're gonna see something special. I hope it's gonna be a very good game. Uh, like Antonio, I think either side can win. Mm -hmm. um, I disagree that a tie is no good. I think a tie <laughs> is is fine for both teams. Obviously, we go for winning, <laughs> but yeah. it, listen, you tie, you're still in first place. You lose, you're down four points. Now all of a sudden, Milan fans start to. Get but upset. You lose, you're down two the win is always yeah. great. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how this Europa League plays into effect. Inter have seven days rest. The, Conte has been studying uh, you oh, know, 12 wow. hours a day, probably 15 hours a day. Studying and, what? And what? Milan what? just what? have a chance to... You guys can no brain. What is he studying? What? The three, five, what what is he studying? Nobody hears him. Okay, go I, ahead. I don't know. Do you guys still hear Antonio? We don't hear you anymore, Anto. Are you talking about it? You hear him? Mike? Yeah, I hear him. I hear him. You hear him? Oh, okay. Yeah. What's he saying? Your audio, your audio sucks. No, what I was saying is, Peter sucks. says that they, they had uh, they had seven days uh, to rest and uh, to uh, and to to make the strategy and to study this game. Study what? Conte's what? got no brain. So Conte's got this stupid. Guys pray to Dios Latan, but there's tactics uh, involved in soccer. Tactic. What Mike? tactic? Yeah. Come Mike, on. can you can yeah. you give us also the news too? Uh, give your opinion and then yeah. and then pop in the news about Zlatan because I know that was a big talk. Yeah, before. so I just want to say I kind of it was more mine was more of a question. I wanted to ask Peter about this. Um, first of all, Derby de la Madonina. I went on uh, uh, Milan Club Philly last night. And I talked about it. I, if I had to give, yeah, Dave's a man. Love Shout him. out to him. We knew him since the early early days of IFTB. Uh, but I think how Peter was saying the form does not matter. It doesn't matter, you know. Milan's not doing the best in 2021. This is gonna this is gonna be a dog fight, and we know with Lukaku and Zlatan, those guys have some, you know, they, they got some uh, business they got to some, settle. Exactly, business to settle. 
and I think there's gonna be fireworks over here. It's, there's not gonna be there's not gonna be a crowd, but it's gonna be like there's a crowd. Mm -hmm. I think that it's gonna be a draw just because it's it's a crazy match. But my question was uh, for you, Peter. Um, Inter might have the pressure on them, but who do you think has a bigger point to prove? Milan, who you know everyone thinks, oh, they're they're not gonna do, it, or Inter to like, okay, we're the big dog now. We're gonna be first, and we're gonna set that distance. Yeah. No, I think right. I think Inter have the bigger point to prove because this is the team that they they're supposed to win the scudetto. This is a team that, as Antonio would say, Conte spent a lot of money to have certain players. Um, this is a team that's been out is out of Champions League, out of Europa League. So Inter's got to show that they they mean business. And if Milan wins, it's it's gonna cause a lot of controversy. Nothing it, nothing is thrown out. But it definitely is a, a big, uh, let's say, punch to the to the stomach for Inter mm. if they lose this game. Well, we'll get everybody's predictions in a bit. Predictions? You said one one. Two two oh, one one. Okay, tie. you said a tie. Yeah. I'll say a two zero Inter win. Two one Inter. Uh, and Anto? Me, Gianmarco, two zero Inter win. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's not what a... I want. That's not what, what I want. <laughs> I want. I want say two zero AC Milan. No, no, no. What I want, I would want a 3 0 AC Milan, but I don't uh, think we're going to get that, unfortunately. Okay. Then you I said would much rather a Milan won it. You said 3 0 AC Milan. Uh, I'll do that. I'll take a 3 0 AC Milan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're pulling shit out of your ass now, Anto. No, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. There's a very good chance that if uh, AC Milan scores first, and then Inter get they they get angry for the game, they're going to come, then expose themselves, Just and then we're going to go through a couple more times. You know, but just that's very, word. very, very clear. A prediction doesn't mean who you support. Yeah. It's just, it's just uh, what you think. I'm just going based off what my my brain is telling me, not what I want. 